Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about this little guy back here. Well, I am the E9 Skyfish. So the actually, name actually came from one of my uh, YouTube followers. So thank you very much. I like the name. I've been using it. This little baby appears in uh, two of the books. Plays uh, a role in uh, the second book and my third book that's uh, Currently at the editor. So, um, not too much further ado, I'd start by showing you some uh, pictures uh, taken when I created this piece. Okay, you saw it being made. Uh, now I'm going to go over the piece here and describe a few of the pieces. You can see this uh, airship is somewhat unique in my builds in that it's 90% oh, brass, where a lot of times I use the brass as an accent and it's more steel. But uh, here, this one's mostly brass. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, so here she is. See right off the bat, as I mentioned, a lot of brass. So this was a beautiful old fire extinguisher. Only come across a couple of these in uh, my times here. Here we have a couple of small vases for the power on the side, and uh, part of a drive system there, and another one here. So this guy's got all kinds of power depending on what it's up to. The base here, this was uh, an iron. It is uh, brass, of course. This piece originally was on the other side here. This part's actually upside down. And then I use this piece to give you the top, welded a steel on for a railing. Put a little uh, viewport at this end. A couple of headlights. Uh, legs from, uh, looks like from pliers again here, if you can see this. We have a uh, box uh, end wrench. Gear, probably bicycle chain there. Got the wheel, actually turns. Alright, so more of the unique pieces. These are some, some brass butterflies. I found these brass butterflies probably at... Uh, uh, like Goodwill or something. Cut the wings off. Make great fins. I like the double one here. The tail fin moves. You can see the actuator over here as there would be of some sort. So that way of controlling it. Some small cylinders down here. So uh, there's a scene in the second book where uh, they know that the, the guy aboard this has some information they need and they go after him and then later on uh, the pirates have captured the ship and in the third book they make use of the ship for some other things. So there you go. The B9 Skyfish. And just a quick look at that. Uh, I'm going to put up a few uh, stills of this piece. And uh, hope you enjoyed my work. Check out my uh, other work and have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. Check out my other work on uh, Etsy, YouTube, Instagram, steamemporium.com.
and probably shows up elsewhere. Under all under Ed Kadera. Uh, check out my books. It's available now. There's the first one. There's the second one. So, thanks for joining me. Have a great day.